Hey everyone, we are back. It is 2019, and as everyone is saying, it is a new year and a new me. And not in the sense that I'm like changing who I am, but I've decided with the advice of my beautiful mom who gave me this idea to shift my channel into more of like a teaching channel. Um, I've noticed that YouTube has kind of shifted away from the whole tutorial aspect of it. And when I was starting this whole body painting journey, I went to YouTube. That's how I learned anything that I did besides like experimenting with things. If I didn't know what I was doing, I went to YouTube. And I would watch them and I would practice and practice and practice. But again, I feel like things are kind of shifting to a different area, world, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I think you know what I mean. Um, and so I've decided to kind of bring that back and to start this whole journey of kind of teaching you how to body paint, how to do creative makeup, not just painting. We're going to discover everything and I'm going to teach you how to make a mask out of latex and cotton, but like actually making it and how to shade and how to create flowers and animals and I'm just talking really fast but I'm really excited and I'm excited to get this going and to kind of really start each and every single video being able to teach and grow and of course I'm going to throw in some looks here and there and I'm going to throw in um, like some fun videos if I get a package or something we'll unbox it like it's not going to be strictly these teaching videos but it's also going to be a little bit different than it was. The first video in this new channel is going to be five things you need to start body painting. You don't need a lot to start. And I wanted to do five affordable things. I'm going to clarify that. Five affordable things you need to start body painting. And yeah, it's not as hard as you think. It's not as crazy. You don't need the most amazing things. I'm going to show you what I feel are the basics to get you going. Instead of starting out by buying like separate containers of paint, I highly recommend palettes. I have two that I kind of recommend based on your price point and I'll put like a little picture of like how much it is. I get my paint off Amazon. Um, there are two options that I think are really good to start out with. The one I have is a hot mess but that's because I use it all the time and this is the first one I ever bought. This is my OG palette. Not this specific one but the generic palette and it is the um, Wolf Face Art FX Essentials Palette. And what it looks like is it actually kind of looks like a little watercolor palette. And this is what it looks like. But they are these little pods of paint. And this is not all of the colors because I've actually um, depotted one of them and put it in this one and kind of mixed them together when I ran out. And so, again, I'll post a picture. You can see all the colors. This is... I think the perfect palette to start out with. It's affordable. You get, how many is in here? I think 16, 14, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12. You get 12 colors that I think really, like they're all of your generic primary colors, secondary colors. They do the job. They're really good quality, I think, for the price. And if you're really wanting to start out and you don't know where to go, I always recommend this palette to people. It's something I will continue to repurchase over and over again because just to have it and to know that I have that to kind of lean back on if I need a color I don't have is always really nice. The second palette which you get less for your money if that makes sense because you only get eight colors but they are any of the Mayron palettes. This is new. I got this for Christmas. Um, this is the Paradise Makeup Aqua 8 Color Palette in Basic. I have three. This is very much loved, so excuse how awful it looks. This is the Pastel Palette, the same Paradise paint. And then I have the Brilliant Palette, which are all metallic colors. This is new as well. I used this for the first time today, and I am in love with it. These Mayron, if you or into any type of body painting, you have heard of Mayron. Mayron makes the Paradise paints, which by the way, smell like coconut. It's very, very nice. Um, they make Paradise paints, and those are the paints that people go for. They are reliable, they work really well. They are the ones that also come in these. This is a black um, 
one and these are a little bit more expensive on their own um, but Mayron is just a paint that I think people go to because it works and it's really good and of course I recommend them. If you want to start out I would highly 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 recommend the, that's not the right palette, the Basics palette. I literally keep picking up the wrong one. The Basics palette because you get your white, oh my gosh, you get your black, your white, and then of course the primary colors of red, blue, and oop, yellow. And then you get a couple of little little secondary colors on the other side. And I think that's a really good way to start off. Of course you don't get as much variety as you do with the Wolf palette. But these are, I would say, your best options to start out with paint wise. The second product I recommend are any type of cream colors. The one, I have two right here, this is from Mayron, it is the Color Cup, and then this is the Ben Nye Character Base. This is the one that I highly recommend, I've used this one once so I'm not sure about this yet, but the Ben Nye Character Bases I recommend 100%. When you want to create a base color, such as white, like if you want a white character, I'm going to guarantee you you are going to have so much trouble getting that white base perfectly white and even water activated paint is great for little small details and everything and it's good if you want like a purple color or blue base or whatever you want to do but if you want to do like white you are never going to get a perfectly smooth base that's that is why i recommend cream colors this is only six dollars on friends beauty supply and i like I have will never not buy this this is the best base that I've come across it's pretty inexpensive I think to start out with and once you set it you can layer paint on top of it you can layer shadows you can layer other cream colors on top of it it's a really universal color I or a universal product I also use this to do my detail work if I have something I need to highlight and I want it to be really kind of spread out and not so harsh, I always go for this. This has become my number one product and I recommend it all the time. The next thing I recommend is an eyeshadow palette, specifically one with a lot of colors. I personally recommend the BH Cosmetics 120 color palette, third edition. That's what that looks like. The top one is all of your fun colors. The bottom is more like the neutral colors. I think people start body painting and they start layering all their colors on top and they're painting and having fun and then they look at their work and it's not the most realistic. And I think it's because they forget that you need more. Your paint is just your base is what I think. And when you add these eyeshadows on top of them, that's when it brings it to life. That's when you're shading and highlighting and adding color and texture to these looks and that's what makes them better and realistic. I can guarantee you, you are going to need eyeshadow and if you don't know where to start or you don't want to spend a lot of money because it's scary or I don't, you can't afford it, this is a really good option. I get a lot of questions on my page about what brushes I use, what brushes I recommend. I, over the years, uh, have collected a lot of brushes. These are just my painting brushes. I have another set over, you can't see it, but it's over there. Another set of brushes that's just for beauty looks because I don't want them to get ruined. But these are just my painting brushes. These are obviously the bigger ones. And then these are all of my like detail brushes. And so I get a lot of questions about what brushes I use. And there's two options. So the first one I recommend are art brushes. I got this set, I believe, at Michael's for cheap. It was on sale. I think it was like in one of the little side aisles. And I use this all the time, obviously, because they're all dirty. But you have a great, like, base brush. This is really good if, this is going to sound weird, but if you want to draw leaves, this is really good. And then you have a bunch of these little small detail brushes. This fan brush... I use all the time. It's everything to me. Um, but you have a lot of good detail brushes and it's cheap. Art brushes are the way to go. And you don't need expensive makeup brushes because you're just honestly going to ruin them with paint. I don't know if you've seen them on the sides or like where it's like $13 for a 30 piece brush set. If you see those little cheap brush sets on the side, buy them. Because one, it's cheap. Two, you're going to ruin them anyway, so you don't want to waste your money on super expensive brushes. And three, you get a lot for your money. You get a lot of different choices and variety, and 
Like I said, I use those every single day, every day. So I recommend getting a really cheap brush set and dedicating that to painting because it's just, it's just nice to have something separate that you can rely on for painting that you don't have to worry about trying to rub off if you need to do an eyeshadow look or something. It's just a really nice thing to have. So art brushes and really cheap makeup sets. The last thing I recommend to start body painting is something to remove the body paints. They are really hard to remove sometimes and it's not because like you're being stained. I mean, be prepared to be stained, but you need something to kind of help get it off and sometimes water and soap it doesn't always work even though they say water activated paints that black is going to stain you and it's going to be kind of hard to wash off so something i recommend are cream cleansers i was using the estee lauder one and now i'm using the pons um no the pons cold cream cleanser it is a makeup remover and it's just i don't know if you can see that there go oh. it's just a cream a thick cream and what I do is I just take a little bit you don't need a lot and in the areas that it wasn't able to come off I just rub it and then wipe it off with a towel and you're good to go that is something that I recommend I have very very sensitive skin and it has not broken me out it has not neither of them broke me out neither of them made my skin like crazy irritated or anything like that they worked really well for me the Pons one is just a little bit cheaper if you can't afford the Estee Lauder one. Okay guys, that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed not only the video itself, but this kind of new whole take on my channel. I'm excited to start this journey with you. I'm excited to continue this year. It is January 4th and it's going to be a good year. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked, please like the video, subscribe for more, and I will see you in my next video.